Today's guide to life is all about Pinterest worthy calligraphy and I've always loved it when people can write such like nice lettering and stuff. I've always wanted to learn. Today I'm gonna be learning how to do something like that. This is called brush lettering and it's really really beautiful. So today we're gonna show you how to create something like that. So I'm here with Jillian from Crafty Fox and she teaches calligraphy. So can anyone like be good at this or if like I'm really bad with art or penmanship should I just like not even try? You will notice that when you look at Pinterest, a lot of the brush lettering all looks alike. The reason why it looks alike is because all the brush strokes are actually made up of different basic shapes. So if you have bad penmanship, if you have bad at art, it doesn't matter really. So what are the materials that I would need to create that? You can use a real brush or brush pen. Now the thing about brush pen is that some of them are a little bit more flexible than others. Okay. So in this sense, it's actually going to be able to produce thick lines and thin lines. So this is a water brush. It's harder to control. You actually get um, pretty nice brush effects. So it depends on what kind of effects you want okay, to create. Okay, okay. But for amateur? Uh, for amateur, Use maybe we will start doing okay. the sponge tip. She look at me, no? <laughs> I'm not an amateur. <laughs> So Wendy, today, the first thing that I'm going to be doing today is to teach you how to write your name. Okay. I've got two rules that I want to go through with you. Any strokes that are down are thick. Any strokes that are up are thin. Oh, okay. So the next rule that I'm going to be going through, like earlier on when I mentioned, I actually said that brush lettering is actually made up of individual shapes. Okay. So there are a total of seven brush lettering basic strokes. So over here, what you can see, letter A is actually made up of an entrance stroke. Here mm. and an oval, mm. here and an underturn. Oh! So we're actually creating the letter by joining these shapes together. So for the capital X, traditionally it's actually two ovals. I hate the big letter X, so hideous. Can you make it more like Fili Falo? Yeah, I can. So this is the Fili Falo version. Wow! <laughs> That's much better. Let's do this. You want to do this? Yeah. Okay. I just come out of the difficult. This <laughs> one so I could have caught myself. Kash, yeah, with a C. What we're gonna do is we're going to try and string all the letters together and write your name. Good. What do you think? This is supposed to be so uniform like that. What you can do is that if you want to play around with the strokes, you can actually adjust based on the heights. Oh. See, this looks like computer font and this looks like calligraphy. Yeah. So, okay, okay la, so I guess we just need to practice. Okay. Now that you have um, managed to write your name, mm. we are going to teach you how to do it with different materials that will actually help to add a little bit more flair to your work. It's very nice, eh? I love it. So what we're going to do is that we're actually going to be working with masking fluid. So masking fluid is actually a tool that we actually use in water colouring when you want to keep certain areas white. So over here what you would see is that I have written with masking fluid. Yeah. And then after that when the masking fluid has dried, I actually peeled it off. So that's where you actually this get one? the white. Oh, so it's this, rubbery. So this actually can be peeled off. We are going to write your name with the masking fluid first and then after that, we will do the watercolour backsplash. After the watercolour backsplash has dried, then we will erase it away and you'll get the same kind of effect. So this is the masking fluid. This is the brush that you'll be working with. It's okay. nylon, so it's going to be a little bit more flexible. Actually, I'm just thinking, instead of you doing straight away, do you want to do it in pencil first? Then you do the masking fluid over or you want to just do it straight away? Why need to use pencil? So, if you're adventurous enough. Oh, don't need. No need, ah. just go. Ah. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Just go. <laughs> Ugly also say it's very nice, you don't know. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the masking fluid, but I don't really want to write my name because it's like so boring. So I got you very unwillingly to write the word pubes for me. And as you can see, with calligraphy, a very crude word can actually sound very high class. I'm going to put this on Instagram later. See how many people like it. Oh, so beautiful. So let's write the word pubes now. Oh, this one is very thick. <laughs> then the pubes will be very thick. <laughs> Have you seen a more classy pubes? I'm now very in love with this word. I feel like I need to tattoo it on myself. Alright, so finally my pubes are dry. <laughs> We're going to do a watercolour backwash behind pubes. We're going to need a few materials. We're going to use the Ziploc bag, okay. some paints, and salt. If we do a normal watercolour splash, it would look like this. But once we add salt to it, what happens is that the salt crystallises or it actually creates an effect on the watercolour nice. splash. So in order for us to achieve a watercolour backwash, pick up some paint, put the paint on the Ziploc. Then, 
we will spray a bit of water here. Now we flip over and you paste it on and you mix the colours in. So just touch it like that. Yeah. Ooh. And we lift it up. One more pink. Like that. Yeah. Just spread it around. Happy? I'm okay. You're okay, yeah? yeah. Okay. Then we add salt. Now it's time to sprinkle salt like, with full air. <laughs> okay, very good. We wait for it to dry. Okay. Nothing is coming out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is not fun, no. She said it's fun, not fun. Fun, man? Maybe to me only. Very difficult to take out. <laughs> I lost interest in doing this. <laughs> okay, I want you to do it. <laughs> okay. Since you get pleasure from it, you may as well. Okay. Hey, why you make it so easy, one? Okay. Oh, yay! Pubes! Maybe you can frame pubes up. Yay! Life goal? Frame pubes up. Yay! I'm very happy with my pubes. I think I will put it on display in the Click Network office and forbid anyone to take it down. Would you say that the best part of today's lesson was you writing pubes? Um, I, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> to say that. Yeah, it's um, brush pens that you can keep. Yeah, at home. Okay. The Chinese people supposed to reject. <laughs> reject three times. Uh, I don't need lah. <laughs> Never mind lah, you take. Really, really don't need lah. No lah, you take lah. Okay, third time. I pay you back lah. No, 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 it's okay. I buy it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for the opportunity to teach you. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. Oh my god, no oh. This is for you. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like super nice. I really like it. So if you want to check out more of Jill's work and get more inspiration, you can actually go to her Instagram at crafty.fox. And also, if you want to take a calligraphy class, you can contact her from there. Alright, so we've come to the end of the episode and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and learned something. So as usual, if you haven't downloaded the Click Network app, please download it so that you can watch our videos one month in advance before they come out on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye.